fairest of them all. My queen, you have defied nature and robbed it of its fairest fruit. But on this day, there is one more beautiful than you. Who is it? Snow White. Everybody is Chrissy with addicted to all things pretty.com and <clears throat> I'm part of the beauty blogger campaign for Snow White and the Huntsman which comes out June 1st super excited about it I've been talking about it on Twitter like crazy <clears throat> just a very wonderful experience um, and I'm happy to share with a lot of other you know wonderful bloggers as well so um, I've already done a gold look and I focused on gold on the eyes and I pulled a lot of gold from the um, Snow White and the Huntsman super trailer, which is like five minutes long, super good. Um, so this time what I'm going to do is play it up on my face and I'm going to focus on highlighting just various shades of gold, but I'm going to keep it really simple. Um, it's going to be really quick as well. So first what I'm using is Girl Meets Pearl and it's by Benefit Cosmetics. I'm sure you guys have seen it numerous times before, but it's really pretty and it plays up really nicely so what I do is oh and I also have my Delium Tools 965 which is a cream blusher cream well I guess it's just a blush brush I don't think they focus primarily on whether it's cream or not I think that's just me that does that um, so let's see here so what I do is start off my in my foundation is already I'm not it's not set but I already have on my foundation so if you use cream liquid whatever it is you'll be great powder not so much so what I do is press it all in and what I'm gonna do is the other side it's not so much that it um, I just wanted to dry down a little bit more And it's really pretty it has um it has a combination of gold and pink so it's not just a pure gold or a pure yellow gold illuminator or you can also call it a highlighter it kind of does the job of both and I'm not working with a mirror today so hopefully there's one kind of behind me So what I need this to do is to kind of dry down just a little bit for me because again it is a cream. So now that it's kind of dried down, I'm going to blend it out. And you're going to see that it's in kind of a rather large area. Do what's, do what's in your comfort level. This may not be suitable for all, but, and I'm so sorry to be all over the place. There's, I'm at my vanity. So there's a mirror in the back, but it's kind of far off in the back. So I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but it's set. And it's very nice, very subtle. It's not too loud or anything like that. So. A lot of skin tones could work with this one. I do the bridge of my nose, a little bit at the upper lip, and then a dash at the chin. Um, you can also do your temples, above your brow bone. It's pretty flexible, it's pretty up to you. I think I'm going to take a little bit more. And I'm using my NARS mirror, so. I love this br this brush. I cannot stop talking about it enough. 
especially for cream and liquid blushers and things like that it is just I've used Ila Masqua. I've used all type of cream thick more creamier gel like consistencies cheek stains liquid and it's just I cannot talk I cannot stop talking about that brush enough I'm not at the point where I want to buy two but who knows so now what I'm gonna do is take NARS Albatross I think this is it here you go so I'm gonna take NARS Albatross and it's a gold highlight illuminator you know it does either one more so of an illuminator if you ask me and I'm gonna take my um, Hakuhodo blush brush which they actually recommend that you don't just pull it directly from the product but you set the product first then blend it out with this brush but I didn't pay as much as I paid for this brush to do that so I use it directly and again my actual foundation is already on but it hasn't been set and this really just like kicks it up a whole lot more but I'm actually gonna set my foundation after doing all of this as crazy as it may sound And I'm actually probably going to go back in as well. For me personally, I just love to set a cream with a powder. Um, and I've done this over powder foundation before. Um, it just depends on what it is um, and how my mood is. There's no rhyme or reason to why I may do one versus the other. But if you've seen the trailer, which um, I'm going to show parts of at the end of this video, you'll see that there is a lot, a whole lot of gold, especially with the character Mirror Mirror. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking my MAC 165 um, just to blend it out a little bit more. And I'm working with my NARS Albatross mirror, so. And I know this is looking eerily gold right now, but I promise you it's gonna all come together. So what I'm gonna do now is take my Real Techniques, Real Techniques um, contour brush with a little bit of MAC Blunt and just lightly contour um, just to add a little bit more definition back in and again this is totally optional um it just it for me i just have to do it otherwise i start looking really flat and just to add a little back in And I know this looks super undone, super unfinished, but again, it's going to come together. So now what I'm going to do is use... My, I want to say it's Essam or Esam. I'm really not sure. Um, I got this blush, this blush, I got this brush at um, the Makeup Show LA. And this is the first time I've used this brand, well, since I got it. And I've been, for loose foundation, this is like, in powders, this is just like the best ever. This is super soft, but it picks up very nicely. It's the X51. And I'm going to take um, MAC Mineralize Foundation Loose. And again, it picks up nicely, so I definitely don't want to pick up too much. I'm just using this to set what's already there. So, have a good amount on. 
And what I'm doing is I'm tapping off the excess. And I'm going to pat along here where I applied it. Grab a little bit more. Just grab that brush. Go in a little bit. And again, I still may clean it up after that. But So that completes everything. I just wanted to, again, play up the gold that I pulled from the Mary Mary character. Um, and there's also a giveaway going on for the Benefit bag, which I have here, but it doesn't have all the products in it. But here's the bag. So visit addictedtoallthingspretty.com and, you know, be sure to enter. That's going to end in a few days. So have to do that quickly. So now what I'm going to do is just apply, um, Mac revealing lip gloss. Um, not too much big on liner. But if you are going to go with a liner, um, for something like this, probably just use something that's um, along the lines of your same skin tone. Just so you don't take away from the rest of the products and colors that you use and things like that. So that's everything. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know and leave it in the comment box. You guys can also email me at Chrissy at Addicted to AllThingsPretty.com. Um, thanks and have a great day. Good. She's pretty. Who is she? My father was King Magnus. Does she speak the truth? Yes. Where she leads, I follow. Where are we? They call it Sanctuary, milady. You have eyes, Huntsman, but you cannot see. She is the one. I see an end to the darkness. Let them come.